Hold up, I am on my way I'm in motion Let's go to the ocean Yeah, let's go outside We can hang out on the beach without freezing So y'all, this is my outfit of the day uh, You can't really see it Because it's kind of dark now Sorry I didn't <coughs> Excuse me, catch no footage earlier But I got on my brown boots again And just cute little Blouse and Some red pants, it's kind of dark But anyways It's my outfit of the day But anyways Welcome to Welcome to Vlogmas Focus Okay, welcome to Vlogmas Day 19. I am getting a late start to Vlogmas, a super, super late start to Vlogmas because it's been very busy. This week has been very hectic. Actually, let me close the door because the conversation is about to get a little personal. Um, It has been a very long week for me. And I say this because it's been quite of a stressful and eventful week because I've been having to deal with certain things when it comes to certain individuals okay i have this really strong passion against bullying i can't stand a bully to save my life i hate them i will fight a bully i will prosecute a bully i will have a bully locked up and put in prison i would i would i would probably even want to bury the bully that's how bad i hate bullying Okay, let's just fast forward to the story because this is really going to be a quick Vlogmas Day 19 because I'm just going to pretty much chit chat about something that's pers been going on personally in my life that's affecting my child. And I was kind of hesitating to do it, the video, because my baby don't really like that type of stuff, but it needs to be known what goes on in the schools and what we as parents should do to try to, you know, help encourage our child to stand up against bullying if they're the ones being bullied or how to, you know, be supportive when it comes to our kids. Me growing up being the person who was bullied my whole grade school life until I graduated high school, I know how humiliating it can be. Well, anyways... Long story short, my son is in sports. He plays sports. He wants to play sports. He's in love with wrestling, which I am so very happy that my son finally found something that he enjoys doing. The thing of it is, he's a super tiny little boy. He's 15, weigh 103 pounds, and only 5'1". He's very tiny. He's very short. But he has the perfect physique, physique to play wrestling in his class weight. The problem that we're having is that they're thinking that certain things that they do to the wrestlers or to each other is implied to make them strong. And if they don't do it, that means that they're weak. Like punching them in their testicles, hitting them in their balls, the little nutsack, the scrotum. Whatever you want to call it. The thing in between a, 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 a dude's legs. Those things that hang from a little pole. Those things. The two balls. The two sacks. They think punching and hitting in that area is a sign of strength. That's supposed to make you strong. That means you're not weak if you're getting punched in your balls and all this other stuff. Which I find stupid because I think these kids these days are going real crazy and insane. Here's my problem. That shit don't make you strong. It actually makes you weak. And the reason why I say it makes you weak because you hit somebody in their genitals. It takes them down to their knees. Do I don't think they realize the effect and the cause that comes along with hitting somebody in their private area, especially a boy. For one, you can bust a testicle. For two, you can cause bodily injury to where he can lose a testicle. For three, you can even create the child or the man or whoever to become sterile, doing that stupid shit. So, my son has been 
one of the ones, and I'm not, I'm not saying, I don't know if my son partaked in it as well, but I do know that my son, but anyways, my son was one of the ones who, well, he got hit in his genitals to the point so hard that it made his scrotum swell. And I had to take him to the doctor to have them check it out to make sure it wasn't nothing seriously going on down there. And there is external bruising on his scrotum. And she, his doctor ordered him to ultrasound. So now he has um, fluid and a cyst on his scrotum. I don't know if it was caused from the trauma or where it was caused from, but the possibility is that it could have been caused from the trauma from being hit down there. So now he has to go see a urologist to make sure that his, you know, package is okay. What I'm getting to is, I feel that that is a form of hazing and bullying. Because I don't give a damn how you look at it. You don't have to hit nobody in a dangling to make them strong. What happened to arm wrestling? Doing a push-up challenge, doing a pull-up bar challenge, doing weight challenges. What happened to all that type of stuff? Punching somebody in their stuff is not acceptable. And at this point, me as his mother, I'm not gonna tolerate that. So the issue got addressed and I brought it to his coach's attention and I just wanted him to know that, hey, I don't want you to approach it in a manner to where it's going to make it seem like my son's been a tattletale because he didn't even want to tell me because he don't want no conflict or no drama with the team because that's something that these boys is doing thinking that shit funny and ain't nothing funny about that because now my son is hurt now he's in pain now he has discomfort in his groin area to where he has to get it checked out and possibly who knows what happened anyways I asked the coach to address it to the teammates to say, hey, you guys can play and horseplay and wrestle and do challenges or do things that you feel that's going to build your strength or make you strong. But punching in the balls is bullshit. That's not acceptable and that's not going to happen. The downfall is my son won't tell me who did it. He won't tell me if there was multiple individuals who did it or if it's one individual because he knows the type of mom that I am. I will literally be at the police station following a police report for assault because you're not going to get away with hitting my son in his balls. You may think it's funny and you may think it's fun, but I don't think nothing funny or fun about that because you're hurting, you're potentially causing harm to my son and which you did because now he's in pain and you know who has to pay for that? He does. You know who else have to pay for that? His mom. Because his mom has to take the time off to take him to the doctor to get checked to make sure that he's okay. And what if in the event that you hit him in his balls and now he is sterile and can't have kids? I swear, I feel like our youth these days do not think before they react. And I don't think some of these parents is teaching their children what the ramifications are when it comes to doing stupid shit like that. Do not hit nobody in their genital areas. I'm a woman. And when I used to ride a bike and I fall in the middle of that bike with that bar there and that bar that used to be there, that shit used to hurt me. So I can only imagine how painful and how uncomfortable and how much discomfort it is for a male to be hit in that area. Bottom line is, I'm only sharing this. It's not to embarrass nobody. It's not to put my son on blast. It's not to do none of that. It's to address a serious issue with whether it's a, it's a horse playing in school or even bullying. That is not acceptable. If your child... How can I put this? Like, my child didn't really want to tell me anything because... He know for a fact that I was going to call the, the school. It's like I know something was not right. And Tiffany was telling me that, babe, just be real cautious when you approach it to his coach. So it won't seem like your son tattletelling. And I was like, I understand that, babe. And it got at one point where she kind of told me, just wait, don't say nothing. And I kept saying, Tiff, babe, no, I know something's not right. I know my child. I talked to JJ. I may not tell you everything that JJ tells me, but I talk to my son and I know when something is not right. And I feel like 
he's he, this is being um perpetuated on him in order to make him feel like that's the only way he gonna fit in with the team. And as long as and if that's the case, he don't need to be a part of a team. That's going to make him feel like he got to get hit in his balls to dominate his strength. That's bullshit. Let me go hit you in your goddamn balls. And let me tell you if that's going to dominate your strength. Because at the end of the day, it's not. That shit going to bring you to your knees and you're going to be hurting just like he hurting. Bottom line is, we as parents really need to pay attention to our children. Because your kids is not going to tell you everything. If you know your child and you feel comfortable with knowing how your child reacts and whether they're lying or they're not completely truthful with you about a situation, I feel as a parent, you need to deal with the situation. There are ways that you can approach the situation and there are ways that you can deal with the situation. The way I decide to approach it, I decide to approach it to tell the coach, when you address it to the kids, don't make it seem like my son has been a telltale or singling people out. Address the issue in a manner to where it will be seen as if these actions will not be tolerated amongst none of the players on the team. If I ever hear that this is what's being taken place, you're going to be removed from the team. Or you're going to have to deal with the consequences that's going to come with it. Because the next time my baby tell me that somebody hit him in his balls, I will be pressing charges against the school. Because the school is aware of it now. The coaches know about it. Unfortunately, my son won't tell me who the teammate is. So I can't press personal charges on that individual because he won't tell me. However... In the event that I find out who he is and he's still bullying my child, I will be at somebody jail. I might be in the jail because I might whoop his ass and his mama ass, but <laughs> why are you looking at me like that? You gonna bail me out of jail, babe? She just turned around and said, no, she not. Anyway, she will be. She probably be helping me out, out there helping me fighting. Because whether you realize it or not, she ain't for that shit neither. She know that shit bullshit too. But she approaches it different than I approach it. I'm coming off a little strong because I'm passionate about bullying. And I hate that my child is having to go through this. But I'm just saying, as a parent... Take these matters serious. When your child come talk to you about certain things that's going on, like don't I'm not trying to force him to tell me everything and I'm not trying to force him to do nothing he don't want to do. But if you know in your heart something ain't right, we just have to figure out as parents how to address the situation and how to approach it. And I had to approach it in a way to where I would not be putting my son in a compromising situation that's going to create more conflict at school. My personal opinion, I feel that it's an upperclassman who is trying to push their weight around because they're this cocky wrestler and he's an undergrad JV wrestler, first year, ninth grade. So they're, you know, boasting themselves and, you know, you know, you know, pushing their weight around because they feel that they got it. But what they don't know is JJ got one of the mamas who's not just going to sit back and allow him to be minimized as something other than a human in their punching bag. Because you can wrestle with them. You can even pin them. But you're not going to hit him in his balls and get away with it. Because the day that if, that if I take him to that doctor and that doctor tell me that my baby's sterile because he got hit in that balls, I'm following charges against that school. Because that shit shouldn't be going on. Because whether y'all realize it or not, it is a form of bullying and it's a form of hazing. And it falls in a category is hazing. Because to uh, symbolize strength, to hit in balls, is hazing. Tiff disagrees with me, but this is my opinion, and everybody has their own opinion. She disagrees with it being hazing. She do feel that it's a form of bullying, but she don't think it's hazing. But I feel that it is falls in the category is hazing because the only way he can fit in to the team is to show his strength is by getting hit in his balls. And that's just not going to happen with my son. I will forfeit every freaking dime I spent on that sport. 
if that's the case. He can quit this team right now, and I will take the loss on all the money that was spent on this sport because my baby is not going to sit around and lose his testicles because some stupid-ass little kid think it's okay to punch him in his balls. So bottom line, parents, pay attention to your children. Your children have emotions. You, If you're a mom, you know how your kids feel. I know when my son not feeling right. And I know sometimes that I can't approach my son and talk to him because I come off too strong. Because I'm very passionate about bullying and somebody fucking with my kid. So sometimes I have to let Tiff do it and have a talk with him and approach him. Or even somebody else. Even his dad, his granddad, my mom, his stepdad, maybe even his sister. However, you still as a parent need to be very vigilant and active in your child's life especially when certain things are going on and you know something ain't right so the day that my my son initially didn't tell me that he got kicked in the balls i want to say he told tiff first even when it goes i didn't find out first i want to say he told tiff he might have told his daddy first and then somehow it got to tiff and then it got back to me because you know how i am as a mom i'm passionate about standing up against bullying and i'm gonna always be passionate about standing up against bullying because i was the kid that got bullied let me tell you, I got pushed down the stairs in high school when I was five months pregnant with my daughter. So, you know, damn well, I had to tolerate it my whole life. My kid is not going to tolerate it because I will be that mom in somebody's courtroom fighting for my son's rights. And that's the one thing my son don't want me to do. He don't want me to press charges on those students. He don't want none of that because he don't want the drama. But at the same time, as a parent, you have to teach your children what's right and what's wrong. That is wrong. You can horseplay and have fun with your teammates, but that hitting in the dingling area is off limits. And for me as a mom, my son not going to be the one that's going to be taking them punches to the balls. Not anymore. Because at this point, it's been dressed to the coach. The coach said that he had dealt with it. He talked to the team. So I'm just praying that from here on out, these incidents won't occur. And I, if it does, I just I just pray that my son will have enough strength and courage to come talk to me or talk to Tiff or talk to anybody. I just want him to feel comfortable enough to know that I, I got his back. I'm going to protect him any way that I can as long as he tell me what's going on so anyways you guys to end this vlog on a positive note and just on like some type of I don't even know what to call it um just like I guess inspirational feedback pay attention to your children when they're doing things because when they talk to you I think we just as parents have to be a little more patient and listen to what they're saying and take actions when your child tell you certain things because bullying here in the state of Michigan is at an all time high I believe we got rated number one in the country for bullying in the schools and at this point in 2019 this mama here is not going to take no bullying because we will be in somebody's courtroom fighting for the rights of my child because somebody else decided to harm him. So without further ado, you guys, I'm going to cut this Vlogmas Day 19 short. I just wanted to jump on camera to just give y'all a little bit of update what's been going on these past couple days. So that's probably why I really haven't been consistent with my vlogs because I've been dealing with personal stuff in my life because I'm a regular mom. I mean, I'm a regular mom. I'm a regular person who goes through regular things. So I... Love is here. <laughs> really babe so I I will do like a sit, more sit down type video you know being in more depth about bullying and my experience with bullying and why I'm so passionate and tell you all the things that I went through in school that I don't want my child to go through and I might even incorporate other people who might have went through the same thing Tiffany never got bullied in school she was the hard knock life you don't know about my life. I know about your life because you, you told me. She never got bullied, but I did. And I know that I don't want 
that for my children. So it's a really strong, sensitive subject for me, and I'm very passionate about it, and I am strongly against it. So at this moment, if there's any advice that y'all can give me, that y'all can even share ways to help me better help my child to understand the importance of communicating and standing up against bullying that doesn't have to be that doesn't have to resort to violence this year i'm open to it but at the end of the day i will fight you in legal matters before i allow my son to be hurt don't don't get it twisted i have to fight the mama and daddy too if i got to i will physically fight them if i got to i may even try to beat the kid ass but they may be my ass because these, they, these kids big. They wrestlers. But I'm just saying. Do not put your hands on my son. Especially if you feel that you got to hit him in his balls. That's going to stop. And that's not going to happen no more. So hopefully we have this understood. Hopefully the coach addressed it like he said he did. And like he said he was. Because I personally talked to him today on the phone and he knows how I feel and what's going on stop mocking me and that's that so you guys I'm sorry about the rant I'm sorry about it being a, just a, a chit chat about bullying just a, just a short version of what I've been dealing with the past couple days but I just wanted to share with you guys this cause you know I'm transparent my life is real it's nothing fake about it I'm, it's real fucking life. I go through real fucking problems dealing with real fucking things. And this is one of the things that I've been dealing with for the past week. So, Hallelujah. Huh? Hallelujah. So, without further ado, I am going to go ahead and block this day 19 on this. I will do another follow-up um, video more in-depth where I'm sitting down. Um, you know, having a more personalized conversation. Even with questions. Q and A's, or however you want to do it, I will, you know, come up with a strategy to discuss um, situations like this with you guys more because I'm sure I'm not the only mom or even the only person that had to deal with this in my life. So, on that note, you guys, I hope you all had a wonderful Vlogmas Day 19. Christmas is officially in six days. Is it? 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Yes. Six days. And I still got to find 60 sexy face something. One one more thing. Don't know what it is. It'll probably be something that she already got. And then I have to find my mom and my stepdad something. But everybody else is set for Christmas. But anyways, you guys. I'm going to end Vlogmas Day 19. And I hope I, what I said could be informative to some people. Could be helpful. And hopefully, whoever sees this vlog can help me deal with things, you know, and all the other type of stuff. So, without further ado, I couldn't really give y'all in-depth of my cute outfit that I wore today. But y'all probably can see it from here. Yeah, y'all kind of can see it from here because it's a little light. But it's some brown boots, a white and red shirt, and some red pants. And I thought I was cute. Still dealing with the struggle, but I still was cute. But anyways, on that note, say no to bullying. Stand up against the bullying. Don't let them bully your babies. So on that note, happy vlogmas day We'll be chilling and having a good good time.